Um, Anwar, we've spoken about Anwar. This is the United Nations Relief Works Agency. Well, to their eternal shame, Labour showing that they are unfit, in my uh, opinion, to be the government of this country. They've returned your money, your taxpayer dollars, to Anwar, which has uh, been, which is the controversial organisation which we've shown here many times over many years. Uh, the suspicion of the links to Hamas, the individuals who were with Hamas, who are also with Anwar, etc., etc., etc. We've gone through all of that. Penny Wong this week decided, oh, I'm going to give back. I'm going to give back the six million dollars to Anwar. Uh, Julie Bishop cancelled money to them. Where's the DFAT advice on that? We had the Teals last week. Uh, to their eternal shame, here's their letter. The hands that signed the paper. There you go. That's the well, Teals urging the refunding of Anwar. Uh, well, Labor's listening to them, Rowan. I mean, Labor listen, the Labor teals. in bed with the Teals. Yeah, there but you Labor's go. Labor's not just listening to the Teals. Labor is listening to the large Muslim populations in some of their seats mm. in Western Sydney, uh, suburban Melbourne, that are really driving this. And the shift between, you know, an older generation of ALP members and politicians who are very supportive of Israel and this new younger generation that is entirely beholden to green ideology. But just on the UNRWA funding, you know, when Scott Morrison cut that in half, there had been advice. They knew that there were links and issues. It was Julie between, Bishop. It was under Tendall. You know, yeah. and, 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 and UNRWA <clears throat> and, uh, and, and Hamas, that there were concerns around this. Um, and so there were... And, and you look at the allegations that have gone out about... Some of many people who are involved with UNRWA also having ties to Hamas. You look at what um, various UN watch organizations have looked at, some of these, um, these groups that are watchdogs and some of the things they've alleged about UNRWA. It's very disturbing that we would be giving them money without having these allegations fully tested. Well, well, I'll, I'll never I'll be mind October yep. 7. It goes <clears throat> deeper than that. Much We've further. been talking about this on this program for years. I know, yep. Ron, you've been writing about it, the concerns about how that money is being used. Uh, to push hate, indoctrination in schools, all sorts of programs that seem to reward uh, behaviour that we want to stamp out, not encourage. So this is deeper than, obviously, the atrocities of October 7, but you would think that would wait around until that report and that investigation was completed before they would restore mm, funding. Absolutely. Well, I'll be talking about it later on in my editorial about that very issue. Um, the Teals and the Greens as well have been out spending your money. Oh, uh, hello. You know, I mean, seriously, the Teals deserve to be slammed at the next federal election. Get rid of them, folks. Go back to the Liberals. They pretended to be Liberals. They were all phonies. They were all frauds. They were all fakes. Uh, they're green through and through. Their ideology is green through and through. They proved that last week with their call to refund uh, Anwar. Uh, their spending is out of control. We've seen uh, printing bills, thousands and printing? thousands of dollars, and these bills. The digital and... age. Yeah, exactly. People, yes, who yes. Think, people who think we're about to all blow up because of global warming are printing oh, things. Oh, yeah, chopping down trees. How very they're printing. 1970s they're of them. Thousands of dollars. Um, Kylie Tink in North Sydney, they're $87,000 on printing and communications. James, these people get into power and they just go crazy. Forget all the... I don't... You know, they, they are the ones who preach concern for the environment, yet do they live up to it? Of course not. They are hypocrites and they are frauds and we've got to get rid of them. Okay. Well, of course they are. I mean, the teals and the greens are particularly bad. I mean, let's just go, go and say that basically the entire political class is guilty of using your money to go and do all sorts of ridiculous things. I mean, this week in the Daily Telegraph, we had reports that people like Assistant Treasurer Stephen Jones, who was using a com car to go back and forth to Canberra when he apparently had a, uh, a car that was provided for him by the taxpayer that he could have driven. So, you yeah. know, you see all sorts of questions you around this sort of thing. You can't have too many cars, James, not when the taxpayer is picking That's up the bill. That's right. But can but... we talk about Adam Band for a second? Oh, because please, please he's do. the Greens leader. <laughs> he is amongst the biggest global warming alarmists, climate change catastrophists in the country. And yet, you look at his spending, almost a million dollars he's spent in a single year, 200000 I think it was, uh, the, the cost of the printing. But we're talking about a couple of private plane trips. I mean, and one of those was between Canberra and Brisbane. Now, last I checked... Virgin, Qantas, Jetstar, they'll fly between Canberra and Brisbane. Why do we need a private jet 
Uh, what I didn't see there were expenses, I don't know, for my key cards for public transport, because that's exactly. how the Greens should be getting around. <laughs> well, that's around. what the Greens Absolutely. want but you, you to, to get well, around. You and Ryan, this is, a point. This is, this is a point because this is the thing. The Greens are watermelons. They are green on the outside. They are red on the inside. And this whole thing, we're out of bent. And the nomenclatura, to borrow, borrow an old Soviet era phrase, go flying around in private jets and private cars while wanting you to go and take public transportation and ride a bike, this is exactly like, you know, every Marxist sort of situation where the leaders and the bosses get the palaces and the villas and the dockers, and you wind up, you know, essentially, well, living in the pod and eating the well, bugs. Well, some animals Absolutely. are more equal than others, as we have learned, and as I wrote in the Herald Sun during the week, never stand between a socialist and a big fat pile of other people's money, because... They will have their hand out, and Adam banned almost a million dollars, well over nine hundred thousand, in a single year. To me, it's just not. Uh, yeah, sure, it could be within the uh, within his uh, entitlements, and that was the claim from the Greens. But then Bronwyn Bishop's five thousand uh, dollar helicopter ride was within exactly. entitlements and was used to bring down Abbott. I mean, it's disgraceful.